So this question comes from three shareholders who happen to be employees of Berkshire portfolio companies. And they say, we are concerned with both the financial condition of the company and the stability of our jobs. Could you discuss your attitude towards the use of layoffs as a means of responding to short-term downturns in company profits? Yeah, these are investee companies or, or These are invest. I, I, I imagine they are investee companies. Yeah. They, um, and, and they're shareholders and employees. Yeah, I wouldn't, ha I wouldn't have a different attitude. I was just uh, clarifying it. There's no question that business conditions can change such as to uh, necessitate temporary or permanent layoffs. I mean, there's scales of businesses uh, change. We're fortunate in a place like Geico where our business is expanding. So we'll probably add at least, a, I would guess, a thousand jobs net at, at, at a Geico. But at the same time, we probably have close to half of our brick plants closed in the Southwest because people just aren't building houses now. Now that business will come back and we'll rehire people. On the other hand, our textile business never came back, and we employ fewer people at the Buffalo News than we did a year ago, and we are not going to re regain those or, or, or uh, get back to previous levels. So there are some businesses that may permanently contract, and you have to face up to that in terms of layoffs. There's other businesses that have severe cyclical-type contractions, and they are going to face significant layoffs. There are other businesses that are suffering a little bit during a period like this, but very little, and, and uh, we will resist the idea of, of, of having layoffs. We're, you know, nobody gets any joy out of it, and generally you do it probably a little too late even because you keep hoping the business will bounce back up or something of the sort. But you know, it, 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 if, the business, if the business changes in a material way, you better change your business model or you know, somebody else will, and, and you'll even have more changes facing you. Uh, on balance, we hope we get into businesses that don't face those kind of problems. But certainly in our construction-related businesses, we've had layoffs at Shaw, we've had layoffs at Johns Manville, we've had layoffs at Benjamin Moore, we've had layoffs at uh, Acme Brick, and uh, there's really no alternative. I mean, it, um, and our competitors all have had also. And, you know, in the textile business, but we got into it in 1965. In the end, we laid off everybody. I mean, it contracted enormously before we got there. We tried all kinds of things, and we finally gave up. Uh, you know, their, their capitalism, you know, is creative destruction, and, and sometimes you're, you're on the short end of that. Uh, uh, this year, in terms of the businesses we have, you know, our employment will probably be reduced. Even oh, I'm almost sure it will, even though... A guy will expand. It will not be reduced dramatically because it just hits in certain areas, but it will be reduced. And our managers have to look at the reality of the uh, of the current situation. Charlie. Yeah, uh, some of our businesses have a shared hardship model where they don't lay off, at least not yet. And uh, the businesses with that model tend to be very strongly placed economically. So I guess it shows that Benjamin Franklin was right when he said it's hard for an empty sack to stand upright. And so we we're all over the map on, on that, and so is all of industry. But I do think an ideal model would be a business so strong that it could operate in the shared hardship mode instead of the layoffs. Yeah, some are doing that where they, yeah. you know, give up hours and... and but a lot of operations don't lend themselves to that very well either. So you, you really, car is operating that way. Yeah, this car is operating that way. And uh, in other cases, you you basically have to close down whole plants. I mean, it, yeah, it, sure. Yeah, that's just the nature of it. it, you, it you really can't operate every plant at 50% and have it work as effectively as shutting down the least productive plants. In, you know, in, in, in a world where you sometimes have to amputate a limb to stay alive, you can't expect that every business can stay exactly as it is. <laughs>